Hello, everybody. My name is Jefferson, and this is Rock House. All right, everybody, we are back here on Rock House today, and I have been making some progress inside here, and that is going to be the theme of the episode today is progress. We are currently in 14W28B. Uh, let's take a look. I am struggling to stay above 30 frames in the snapshot, uh, but that's uh, expected, I guess, with the experimental snapshot action. But here is my kitchen. Got a little itchy itch. All right. I am really liking the, how this table came together. The white uh, kind of looks like it's got uh, the the little uh, doily hangy corner things. Very nice. So we have our table, have our fridge. There's nothing in it. It's just for looks. Have our sink with a little picture. I have uh, the just piston flooring right through here for when you're working on the counter. And this is just a little work area, maybe a coffee station, things like that. Uh, in here we have all of our cooked food and then raw food and fuel. And like I said, being in 14W28B, we have cooked mutton. Haha, <laughs> these are the first ones I have cooked up here. Uh, I was just kind of messing around in the sheep farm, which is overflowing. Definitely need to uh, figure out the color scheme we want to go with. Uh, but I got a brick wall in here. And this, uh, my grandmother's house had a brick wall where the dining room table was. And I always loved sitting next to it and just uh, leaning up on the brick. So I thought that looked very nice. And my living room is pretty much done. The couch, uh, I really wasn't sure what to do for a couch. But this works. And you got a little ambient noise. Hop in and ride the couch. <laughs> I'm not moving, but you get the uh, the rail eff effect, the rail noise, a uh, little c floating coffee table, and we have a jukebox and just two note blocks just to uh, give the entertainment center look. Uh, I think it came out very nice. Uh, yeah, I haven't done much interior design but I think these two rooms look great and this floor I'm not sure I think I will leave it maybe someday I'll do like big checkers uh, like two by two checkers I got some uh, just tables over here extra wither skull and I have installed a door system again and it's got a little doorbell, which ends up getting rung twice on the way in, which is fine. Uh, but that just lets me know when somebody comes in. And been doing a lot of terraforming here. Random chicken running around. Oh, now we have two random chickens. And yeah, I have leveled this off, put in a fence. I took out the chicken arena, which we may do that again. And right... Uh, there it is. Right there is... Dang it. Dang it. Uh, right there is a ladder to my uh, zombie spawner, but I am going to make this staircase access point instead, which I still need to work on. Need to dig out the roof, put in stairs. That's the thing I've noticed is uh, even on my original uh, way down to my skeleton spawner, I still have not put in stairs. Uh, oh yeah, this is going to be where the uh, crusher is. The ladder goes up, drops the zombies into here. We'll have an enchantment center and probably uh, a couple villagers in this wall right here to trade with uh, uh, zombie flesh uh, somewhere. I think we can get to it over here. Yeah, right here. Uh, this is the end of a villager chute that I have installed to move my villagers to and from. 
Got some Minecraft music kicking in. Loving it. We can listen to that as I hop back up the stairs. And I can tell you that I have had to replace my gear twice now. Uh, in the video, previous video with Rook Bukas, I lost all my gear. He did return uh, my shovel, pickaxe, bow, and my sword, uh, which is good. Uh, but other than that, I have had to rebuild all of my gear right now. We're sitting very nicely. Been grinding my skeleton spawner. Got my hat, my shirt, my pants, and did not name these because it was like 32 levels. These were like two and three levels to rename. This was costing 32 levels. I kind of want to just chill around, see if anything spawns. I still need to uh, finish the fencing on that side, but uh, I plan on having villagers in different locations throughout, so I kind of want to have it well protected and well lit. This guy's just chilling. That's right, that's right. All right, so yeah, uh, the second time I was uh, deep in the nether and I'm working on a tunnel out to just try to find my own fortress. Oh man, I can't even swing at those. Oops. Got some uh, slime blocks. <laughs> and I fell in lava. I had fire protection chest plate, which I really thought would protect me. Didn't bring any of my potions, which this had like six fire protection potions. I didn't bring any of those, and I ended up throwing an ender pearl, trying to get from one place to another over some lava, overshot into lava, and if you throw an ender pearl into water or lava, you end up at the bottom. So I had to swim back all the way to the top and just threw it again and ended up dying in lava. Didn't even go back for my stuff because I knew it would be dead burnt in lava. Uh, so I've been just carrying a regular silk touch, which I have a tray downstairs. I have my axe, my pickaxe, my shovel, my good sword, my good bow. Uh, so we are looking good right now. I have 30 levels, but I know that the enchants right now are crap, so I'm just kind of waiting on that. Uh, we were just looking at an ender chest up there. <laughs> I broke my fishing pole, uh, fishing, so I had to do that, make a new one. Um, and my backup gear is not looking very good. Uh, we can go downstairs and see the progress I have made with my villagers. This is my new, uh, mine shaft. Nothing special. Yet, we might make it nice and fancy. Uh, but these are my villagers. They're, uh, a bunch of new ones in here. I've been killing off ones that I don't want. I will go through those ones and kill them off. On off switch, it blocks the light source to the doors and also puts that block in place. So any new ones that are born will suffocate in that water right there. So it's kind of a double safety measure just to prevent this infinite uh, village breeder to not infinitely breed. I wanted to get signs up before the episode. I forgot. Uh, but this is 13 emeralds for silk touch pick. That is a very good trade. Yep. And this guy, what do you got? What do you got? Efficiency 5 book. Oh, yeah. What are you, butcher? Yeah. We have some uh, decent librarians walking around. That is my closest thing to getting Unbreaking 3. I've done that uh, once, well, twice to get up to an Unbreaking 3 book. Looting 3 book right there. He's a keeper. Uh, this guy, Smite 5, he's a keeper. And Feather Falling 4. We're looking good on the uh, librarians. This guy hopped in there as a baby. Um, hmm. I don't really want to send him, but this is the button. And that's the drop shoot to get them into the water tunnels. Uh, still haven't gotten anybody other than the uh, Silk Touch that's worth it. We have a Fortune 1 Diamond Axe, 
and a couple other crappy things, but nothing special. I do want to go up and install this light in my new big tree outside. Uh, but yeah, that's my villagers. They've just been down there chilling, helping me out when I need it. <laughs> I do like that doorbell. Uh, all right. So still carrying around that. All right, all right. Uh, yeah, I think. No. If we move that up one and rotate it to there, go bink and bink. Nice. Haha. <laughs> Just random things. I'll put a vine on it. Uh, actually, we can do that right now. And yeah, this is just my quick access point here. Got the slime at the bottom so I can just drop out. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Vines. Vines. All right. And if you have noticed that off in the... Oh, I missed the slime block. Uh, I have worked on my nether portal building. Uh, we'll go here. We can check that out, and then I am probably going to uh, continue working around here. This, uh, I'm going to make the river flow to here, uh, and then have a bridge come over here. Very nice. Connecting to this, which I had to go get glowstone. I want to put some redstone lanterns and something else in those slots. I've noticed if you sprint, oh, sometimes you can time it and get all the way down. It's kind of fun. Uh, but yeah, that, those stairs are still a work in progress. This is my nether portal room, let's say. We can hop on through. This is pretty much instant access to spawn. Oh, get out of the fern eye. This is my nether tunnel. Very cool. Pretty simple. Uh, but I like it. I like how it came out, and it leads us right to spawn. So yeah, that's my entrance there, right next to Rook Bukis, and to game someday, maybe, and then to spawn. I don't really want to go to spawn right now. I'm going to uh, keep building on my base, get the terraforming done. Uh, well, for the most part, we'll continue on the fencing and securing and maybe we will send the villager off to the zombie farm this episode oh oh made it to the last one haha <laughs> but yeah that's what i'm talking about you come straight out and you can make it over those gaps sometime yeah oh dang it <laughs> all right yeah we will be back all right everybody we are back and i have been doing a lot of work since we have been gone now we are down here <laughs> uh the first thing let's check out my little prototype slime launcher i had to put these in here to get you to come from an angle bam first try oh yeah nice quick access and yeah this is just a prototype definitely not a finished design um i would like to get it to so you can come at it straight ahead not sure uh, I think I'll just need to work on my redstone uh, but we have the stairs pretty much done I have a couple blocks on me I want to try up here just kinda looked funny with the one block sticking out there the one grass block thinking smooth stone <laughs> that was easy and yeah let's check it out we are in 14 w 29 b we have updated the server uh, since the last clip and I'm sitting at 20 frames not very nice uh, to do video settings every time we update this gets bumped all the way to max uh, but I have dropped this to 60 usually I just have it unlimited and I have the VBOS on, and you cannot use VBOS and VSync at the same time. The two Vs don't get along. 
Uh, yeah, right before I started recording, I tried to turn my VSync on with VBOSS. So maybe VBOS is supposed to like double your frames per second. That got us to 30, but I do believe uh, it's my sheep farm. <laughs> uh, but yeah, these are the blocks I put in. Uh, glass, black glass, and redstone lamps. Uh, thinking maybe it would be cool to have lava down there instead, uh, but it's okay. We got, uh, we got lava in our portal room. So we can run down here. I still need to make a little bridge here because I always fall in there. And yeah, I can feel the frames drop when I look that way. Let's check it out. I've been doing some work in here, clearing them out and just trying to thin the herd, get them all um, in their own colors. But yeah, you saw that. Sometimes the uh, gates don't show whether they're actually open or closed. So this side is open to two pens, all white, and these guys, what do I have? Jefferson smites the, uh, I'm just going to get rid of all these guys right here and take down the fence. Oh, two game. Oh, haven't seen him on. He's been playing a lot more recently. Hey, brother man, slaughtering some sheep. Oh, I hit my, uh, my cap it. Doop -doop. So, yeah, we don't need that. We need our axe and take. Come on. It's nice to have Sappy back. Get out of my way. <laughs> I may put uh, sharpness on this if I can. El Hollow stopped by uh, randomly. I was uh, up in my storage area and got hit, punched and didn't know what was going on. Oh, we left one behind. I want this to be all white. Yes. And there it is, the raw mutton. Awesome. So yeah, I definitely bulked up my sheep farm uh, when I heard that was being introduced. Man, I need to do some gardening through here. My, my grass is getting overgrown. Got to mow my lawn. <laughs> All right. Bing boom. Bing boom. Drop this off. Cook up our meat. I have lots of wool stocked up. I don't know why I have so much green. Very strange. All right. That's that. Drop our stones off. Rocks. Got a fence. Uh, so yeah, I think I want to make a storage room. Uh, this is nice. I love my house now that it is all, uh, furnished. Uh, it feels like a home. It really does. Uh, if you guys have a, a structure and you haven't spent the time to get it, you know, dialed in on the inside, definitely take that time. It feels a lot nicer in the, his house and yeah. Where is that skelly? Uh, doing a little recording at my place. And so yeah, now that I have my nether portal and nether tunnel set up, uh, it's definitely easy access for others to find me, uh, which is very cool. It's nice to have uh, the server members stopping by. But yeah, El Hollow and I were here just messing around a lot. Showed him my, uh, my launcher. Woo! <laughs> uh, and yeah, everybody knows where I am now, which is good. And I mean, I'm not far from spawn. Why do I feel like I have mining fatigue? Weird. I did change my uh, FOV to 80%. Where is that skeleton? Weird. Alright, drop off the mutton. Lots of raw mutton. And... Let's see. Yeah, 
I think that's about it. We got our river done. Got the stairs to the nether house done. Let's see, how's the frames now? Frames are still at 20, 20 frames per second, which is not good. So uh, I just want to get this episode out. I think that's going to do it for today. Two game might stop by. We'll see. <laughs> I'm not sure where he's at. Uh, but yeah, until next time, as always, thank you. And I will see you later.